Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jane. So today's video is another Sew With Me tutorial. It's number three in the series of four tutorials that run alongside my latest sewing pattern, the Nell t-shirt dress. So today's video is going to be making the hip length version. So hi, welcome back. Before we get going and sewing, you obviously need to download the pattern. I will put the link for the pattern in the description box. All you need to do is obviously purchase the pattern, download it, choose your size and cut it all out and then we'll be able to sew along together. So if you're ready to sew along with me, this is the fabric that I've chosen today. I have chosen this gorgeous purpley lilac-y uh, contrast plane, which goes gorgeous with this floral green background, turquoise green background with floral with hints of the lilac in there and I just thought that goes really well. So I have got everything cut out. So the pieces that you're going to need to do the hip length are you're going to need for your bottom tier, you're going to need two of your bottom tier cut on the fold and then you're going to need two pieces not cut on the fold or two pieces for your top tier so two pieces but not cut on the fold that's the top tier and then I've got my back my front I've also got my sleeves and then I've got my contrasting cuffs two of them and my neckband cut on the fold in that contrast as well. You don't have to do it in two different fabrics, you could do it all in the one, or you can do it as many fabrics as you like. You know, be creative. But I've chosen these two today, and I can't wait to get started actually. So, first things first, I'm gonna get everything ready, pinned ready to sew. I like to do block sewing, so I like to get everything ready, pin it all and go over to my sewing machine and sew all in one go. So I'm gonna be using my overlocker machine for the majority of the sewing today. It's one centimeter seam allowance, and um, I'm also gonna be using my cover stitch for the neckline detail afterwards, and also the hem detail, but you don't have to Obviously, if you don't have a cover stitch, you just continue with your twin needle or you can use zigzag stitch or you can use lightning stitch or if you have some uh, flexible thread as in Gutemann Maraflex thread, then you can use a straight stitch. So you've got quite a few options there. So even if you don't have an overlocker, you can use your normal sewing machine. So once you've chose which method you're going to be using, then we'll continue. So, and obviously don't forget throughout the video if I'm going too fast or you need to recap, uh, just press pause, rewind, back to the point that you need to refresh or recap on and then obviously continue. So, you know, you can take the whole tutorial at your very own pace. And also if you get stuck and you need to ask me any questions, you just message me in the comments box and I will get back to you as well and I'll help you. So let's get going. So let's get me pins and let's pin everything that needs to be pinned. So I'm gonna start off with my cuffs and obviously I've gotta make sure we're gonna put right sides together. So I'll just double check I've got my right sides facing and you should have all your notches cut into everything. And I'm just gonna line up my notches. And I'm just gonna pin along the raw edges. Then I'm going to take my neckband, again, right sides together. And pin those, the two short ends, raw edges together. Next I'm going to take my sleeves 
Now because I've got a directional print, I have to make sure that I'm going the right way and I double checked everything before I cut it out. So you must check your directional print if you're using that, that when you place your sleeves and all your pattern pieces that you have got your direction going the correct way. So obviously I've got mine right and I'm just going to fold my sleeves over right sides together and pin the underarm seam. And then I'm going to continue with the other sleeve and then I'm also going to pin my shoulder, shoulders and side seams on my front and back bodice. And then finally on to my tiers, my ruffles. So I'm going to pin right sides together my top tier. Make sure I've got my right sides up. Here we go. I'm just going to pin along the short edge. going to make sure I'm just going to pop my center notch in just so I can match up when I'm gathering it on the top edge and also the bottom edge so just fold it in half and just either pop a pin in or mark it with a pen or just put a little snip in like I'm doing here And the same for the bottom because this is obviously going to match the bottom tier. And then for the bottom tier, because of these are cut on the fold, I'm just going to mark the center on the fold. So I'm just going to make sure I've got my fabric the right way up, got my notches as well in the center there for when I attach it to the top tier so just got to fold my fabrics right sides together one on top of the other and again make sure I don't turn my fabric around so that the directions going the right way and we're going to pin the bottom tier pieces together one on top of the other two short ends Okay, so I've got everything, everything pinned that I need to pin. So I'm just going to go to my machine, I'm going to sew everything together, a one centimetre seam allowance. So let's do some sewing. Okay, so I've got everything stitched that I need to stitch so far. So I'm just going to trim off all my ends. Okay, so I'm going to put my tiers to one side. So there's my bottom tier. And there's my top tier. So I'm just going to put them to one side for the minute. There's my neckband. And there's my cuffs. 
So I'm going to turn my cuffs through to the right side. So I like to snip in the middle up to but not going through my stitching line. Just a little snip. And then we can fold over that seam. So one goes that way, one lies the opposite. So then when you fold it over, you get less bulk in one place. And I'm just going to pin and my notches. And I'm just going to do the same with the second cuff. And there's our two cuffs ready to put in. So I'm going to continue on with the sleeves. Why not? So here's our sleeves. So let's just turn the right way around. So your sleeves always have a front and a back and to determine which is the front and determine which is the back you have notches. You have two notches that show you it's the back of the sleeve and one notch that shows you it's the front of the sleeve and those notches match up with the front of the bodice where there'll be one notch in the armhole and on the back of the bodice there'll be two. So that's how you know you're getting your sleeves in the right way around. So there are the two notches, so that's the back of my sleeve like so and on the other side there's the one notch to show it's the front of my sleeve. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach our cuffs to our sleeves but before we do that we need to do two rows of gathering stitch along the bottom edge of our sleeve. So we're just going to go and set our machine length, length to the longest stitch and I'm not going to back tack and I'm just going to do two rows within the seam allowance if I can. It's not at the end of the world if you don't because you can pull out your gathering stitches afterwards. Um, I'm going to do two rows on both the bottom edges of the sleeve. So let's go and do that. Okay, so I've got my two rows of gathering stitches in between the notches there. And I'm just going to pull both ends. And I've also got my centre notch, which I'm going to match up with the notch on my cuff. So I'm just going to pull two ends and I like to secure my one end with a pin. I don't like tying knots, I prefer to just wrap the ends around a pin in case I ever need to adjust it. So I'm just going to now pull the other end I'm just going to pull until the gathers are roughly the width of the cuff. And I'm going to do that for both sleeves. roughly the width of my cuffs and obviously I'm going to adjust that as I attach the cuffs. So now with right sides matching and raw edges matching I am now going to slide my cuff on to my sleeve and I'm going to match up my sleeve notch with the notch on my cuff and I'm going to match up my seams with the underarm seam. So there's my underarm seam. So I'm going to slide my cuff 
over my sleeve and line up the seams. And now I'm going to match up my notch. So there's my center notch there and just find my center notch on my sleeve which is there. So notches together. I now know I've got my cuff equal distance on my sleeve so now I can just adjust the gathers in that half and then adjust the gathers in that half and I know I will have it equally distributed so let's have a look at this half it's pretty it's not too bad at all so I'm just going to adjust adjust them and then just pin and obviously if you need to adjust your gathers you can just if you tighten a knot, then you've obviously got to undo your knot. If you've just got it wrapped around a pin like I do, then you just take your pin out and either tighten it or slacken it off. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay there as well on that side. So I'll just make sure they're all evenly distributed. And then pin. And I'm just going to do repeat the same for the other sleeve. So for this one I need to pull my gathers a bit more so I'm just going to take my pin out I've got my threads threads there wrapped I'll show you a bit closer I've got my threads there that were around the pin so now I can just pull them until I'm happy that that fits better it's about right and then I can just pop my pin back in Just do a figure of eight. Match up my raw edges. So obviously you need three raw edges, the sleeve and the two raw edges of the cuff. So make sure you've got your three raw edges. And the same for the other side. So now I've got my sleeves and my cuffs on ready to sew and I'm just going to sew them one centimetre seam allowance obviously take my pins out as I go and then if I need to I will then take out any gathering stitches that are showing on the right side so over to the machine and sew these on Okay, so there's my cuffs on and I've just got to pull out my exposed gathering stitches. So there's our cuffs on to our sleeves. So next things we're going to work on is the bodice. So let's turn our bodice right side through. So we're going to quarter the neckline so we can add our neckband so we've got our center front notch. We've also got our center back notch. Don't be fooled, like I said in my other tutorials, thinking that the shoulder seams are the quarter. They're not the quarter, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So we're gonna hold on to the front notch, and then we're gonna pinch the center back notch. And 
we're just going to fold the two notches together and this will be our quarter point notch there so I'm just going to make a little snip and through the second layer and when you open it up I'll pop a pin in so you can see better There is that notch and there is the other notch and as you can see they are not quite a distance from the shoulder seam so if you do struggle with putting neck bands on and you're wondering why that could be the reason why that because you're adding it to the shoulder seam as a quarter point when in fact it's not it's much further down so we're going to do the same with the neck band and I'm just going to snip my neck band like I did with the cuffs up to but not going through the stitching and then I can pop one side that way and one side that way and then when you fold it over you get less bulk I'm just going to pop a pin in there and then we should have our centre notch there it is so we're going to pop a pin in our centre notch So, like so, and there will be on those folds our quarter points. I'm just going to snip through the layers, just a little snip, and pop a pin in place and we only need four pins in so we've got a pin at our center back pin pin at our center front and then we've got two pins at our quarter quarter point and now we're going to attach our neck band i'm going to turn my bodice through again because i think it's a little bit easier and then my notch is, oh, where is my notch? There's my notch there. So I'm just going to line up my centre back seam with that notch. And then I'm going to line up my raw edges and right sides together with the centre front notches. And then we're going to line up our quarter points. like so and then you'll find that your neck band is a little bit shorter than your neckline and that's exactly how we want it because we're going to pull on the neck band not on the t-shirt just the neck band and by pulling on it and stretching it gently it creates that little bit of tension which gives you that lovely neat flat neck band if your neck band's too big uh, or you don't have ha any tension as you're sewing it you will find your neck band is all wavy and doesn't sit nice and flat against your neckline and we're just going to sew from one point to the next point to the next point to the next point all the way around take our pin out as we get to it and as we saw we're just going to gently pull the neck band so it fits in the neck line we don't pull the t-shirt that's got enough uh, space there it's the neck band that we're going to pull we need the neck band to fit in there so we need to pull it ease it in so let's go over to the machine one centimeter seam allowance take your time and we're going to sew from one pin to another 
quarter at a time. So let's go. Okay, so that's the neck band in. So hopefully you manage that okay. Just as I say, take it in sections and take your time and you should get a lovely, neat neck band at the end of it. So now you can either go around your neck band using your twin needle or your zigzag stitch. I'm gonna get my cover stitch out and just finish off the neck band with my cover stitch so I shall quickly do that I'm driving you're smiling just really doing nothing that's the thing I like about you mm. on the highway it's our way route 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we wanna do Okay, so that is my neck neck band all stitched with my cover stitch. Close the blind a bit. There we go. So I've just got to tie off the end. And obviously, if you use your twin needle or your zigzag, you would have your nice neat finish as well so there's our neckband ready for adding our sleeves so i think we'll put our sleeves in now so as i say we've got the front of a sleeve and the back of a sleeve so we need to make sure we're putting the sleeves in the right way because that does help so one notch is the front so we need to find this the sleeve that's got the one notch so that must be for that side this one must be for this side because we're going to match up our underarm uh, sleeve seam and the underarm seam of the bodice match up right sides together match them up pop a pin in that join there and then we have the front which has one notch and the front of my sleeve should have one notch so I know I've got the sleeve on the right way I'm just going to pop a pin in there and then I'm just going to pull the sleeve through and we have a notch on the shoulder point of the sleeve and we're going to match that up with the shoulder point of the bodice pop a pin in there and hopefully the other side of the sleeve should have two notches to match up with the two notches on the bodice so there we go so we've got the right sleeve in i'm just going to pin all the way around and i'm going to do exactly the same for the other sleeve Okay, so that's both of our sleeves in. So I'll turn it through so you can see exactly what I've done. So there is the sleeve and there is the other sleeve and we're just gonna stitch all the way around both sleeves, one centimeter seam allowance, taking our pins out as we go and just double checking that you're catching both raw edges as you saw. So just double check as you go along that you've got your edges together. So let's go and do some more sewing. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got our sleeves in, so that's the top half of the nail, hip length complete. So we're going to go on to the tiers now, and I'm going to attach the tiers to each other and then add attach the two tiers to the bodice last. So this is my top tier because it's plain, I don't have any direction. This is my bottom tier, so obviously I have to make sure I've got it the right way up. Uh, I think that's the right way up. Yep, so I'm just gonna pop a pin so I know that's the right way up. And again, on the back towards the top so I know that's the piece that's going to join on to there. So first things first I'm going to do two rows of gathering stitch along the top tier. So starting I'm going to start at my notch, one of my notches and I'm going to do two rows from that notch right the way around and then once I've done that and then I am going to do two rows of not um, two rows of gathering stitches on the the bottom tier on the top the top uh, edge so two rows of gathering stitch along the top edge of that tier and two rows of gathering stitches along the top edge of the bottom tier okay so before i attach this is the way i like to do it before I attach the bottom tier to the top tier, I'm going to do my hem. I think it's easier, then you've only got this piece to handle rather than all that to handle. So I'm just going to get my iron and iron two centimetre hem. And then I'm going to sew that before I attach this piece to that piece. Okay, so now I'm going to do my uh, cover stitch all the way around the hem. You can use your twin needle, your zigzag, your lightning, whichever method that you're using to create your nail waist length. You can use whichever method that you're using, and I will quickly do that, and then I will be able to, then I'll be able to pull the gathering threads to attach to the top tier. So I'll just quickly cover stitch my hem. Okay, so I have done my cover stitch hem, and obviously yours is going to look similar if you use a twin needle or you've obviously got your lightning or your zigzag stitch. So that is the hem done. So all I'm going to do now is pull the gathering stitches for the lower tier and attach it to the bottom edge of the top tier.
Okay, so I've pulled my gathering stitches just so they're gathered, obviously, and I'm not sure where it's going to fit yet, so... And now I need to get the right side of my top tier. And obviously this is the bottom edge which this is going to attach to. If my cat just gets out the way. And I have my notches there, I have one there and I should have one on the other side. Yeah, so I'm going to line up the centre of my bottom frill notch there's one notch there and my side seams will line up with the side seams on the top tier so let's have a look And I've just got a little bit too much gather, so I just need to ease some of the gather out. So let's have a look. So first things first, I'm going to line up the right sides together, my side seam. So there's my side seam, so I'm going to place the raw edges together, right sides together. So my two side seams. with the other side seam and then I can adjust my gathers in between those notches that I've got so my middle notch is there so I need to find my notch which is there And again with the underneath, so line up my notches. And then I can see how much I need to adjust the gather. And you just adjust your gathers to fit the top the top tier and that's about spot on there so I'm just going to keep a hold of those ends and just wrap it around my pin and then just If you need to, you can give your bottom tier a little press and just pin matching your raw edges together. And we're going to do this all the way around.
We left the room a fight once again, though Yeah, we said some things we didn't mean, hun I always start the fight and you put the fight out I always say too much and I get jealous I never hear Okay, no pain, no gain so that's all gathered and pinned. So now over to the machine, stitch the top tier to the bottom tier. And then all we're gonna do is attach the, both of the tiers, the skirt section to the bodice. So we're almost there. So let's just go and sew these two tiers together. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out. If you give me one more try, I might just realize that it will always be us two. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to keep my own of you. If you give me one more try, I might just realize that it will always be us two. Always keep my guard up and I'm sorry. So how you couldn't climb them But you're not the one to blame I know this is all on me mm, I'm sorry For the way we left things I know you're hurting I didn't mean to start a war I'm still learning How to talk up on my feelings You know it gets hard sometimes Maybe I just need some time Some space to fix Okay, so that's all that stitched on. So I just need to remove all my visible gathering stitches, as you can see. So I'm just going to quickly remove them. Hopefully they should come out okay. So all we've got left to do now is attach the skirt to the bodice. So got to gather yet again, but we're nearly there. So I'm just going to pull my two threads on one side. If you give me one to try, you might just realize. And I'm just going to pull the gathers until the, the bottom skirt fits the width of the bodice. We left the room a fight once again though. Right, so I'm going to line up my side seams with the side seam of my bodice. Right sides together. So line up. And then I need to line up my notch with the notch on my back and front. And then if I need to adjust, I will adjust it now. So I need to pull a bit more on this side. So I'll just take my pin out. And just pull until it fits that section, which is roughly about a little bit more. There we go, so now I can just adjust it and pin and do that all the way around so it's all evenly gathered 
and pinned in place and there's not as much gather on the top tier as there was on the bottom tier thankfully did I hear you say Okay, so that's all pinned. I'm just going to double check. I've got my gathers fairly even. Looks good. So I'm just going to sew that on. One centimetre seam allowance. Make sure I don't catch the other layer under my overlocker. So always check in and uh, sew that together and give it a press and, and this will be finished. So last step. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to keep my only you. If you give me one to try, I might just realize that it will always be us too. that's the skirt attached I just got again remove my gathering stitches and all that's left to do after that is give this whole thing a nice press that's all right Jardy give this uh, whole thing a nice press so you try it on take some pictures do some twirling as I do and this will add to my ever going collection of Nell t-shirt dresses so I shall just quickly take out the gathering stitches looking good tonight i want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do So there we go, finished. As I say, I just need to give it a quick press. Try it on, take some pictures. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial, so with me tutorial. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments box below and don't forget to like this video and any, any of my videos that you enjoy because uh, it does help with the uh, YouTube algorithm or whatever it's called. So there we go, all complete. Just need to give it a quick press, try it on, take some pictures, do a bit of twirling as I do. Hope you enjoyed today's Sew With Me tutorial to how to make the waist length version. I've also got the t-shirt tutorial already on my channel and also the waist length is already up there. All I've got to now add is the Nell dress, maxi dress length and then all four tutorials will be up all under the same playlist. And uh, if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up let me know in the comments box below what you think and uh, are you making one or have you already made one if you have please don't forget to tag me over on instagram so i can see what everybody's making i love to see how what you create too and uh, yeah so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you on my next video bye for now <laughs>